Health so far outweighs all other blessings of life. That a truly healthy beggar is happier than a sick king. Whoever violated trust once loses it forever. Wealth is like sea water, the more we drink, the thirstier we become, and the same is true of fame. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. We forfeit three fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. From the point of view of youth, life is an endless future. From the point of view of old age, it is a very short past. Reading is thinking with someone else's head instead of one's own. The first 40 years of life give us the text. The next 30 supply the commentary on it. The clever are not so much looking for loneliness as they avoid the fuss created by fools. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time. Man of talent tries to use it. Each person can be completely himself. Only while he is alone. Life is a constant process of dying. Each person can be listened to. But not everyone is worth talking to. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision. For the limits of the world. To get married means to have your rights. And double your responsibilities. It is better to find your mind in silence than in conversation. He who does not like loneliness does not like freedom. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. Living happily means living less unhappy. Life swings like a pendulum, backward and forward between pain and boredom. If you have reason to suspect that a person is telling you a lie, look as though you believed every word he said. This will give him courage to go on, he will become vehement in his assertions, and in the end betray himself. Sociability of people is not based on love for society, but on the fear of loneliness. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Compassion for animals is so closely related to kindness of character, that it is safe to say that he who is cruel to animals, cannot be a kind person. Hundreds of objects that give people pleasure are boring for a big mind. A vain person should know that the good opinion of others, which he so achieves, is much easier and more true to create by silence than by talkativeness. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Treat a work of art like a prince, let it speak to you first. You should be very careful not to form a very favorable opinion about a person at first acquaintance, otherwise in most cases, you will have to be disappointed. He who writes carelessly confesses thereby at the very outset that he does not attach much importance to his own thoughts. Fate shuffles the cards, and we play. If we happen to hear how half a dozen rams scornfully scold an outstanding person, then we will understand that to value the opinion of people highly will be a lot of honor for them. Intellect is invisible to the man who has none. He who has lost all hope has also lost all fear. A fool chases pleasure and finds disappointment a sage, only avoids grief. We rarely think about what we have but, we always worry about what we don't have. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people.